Good morning, my friends. Today is Wednesday, June 14th. It's Wednesday of the 10th week in Ordinary Time. I'm going to start with the Gospel and then go back to the first reading. Uh, the Gospel of Matthew, Jesus says, this is the Sermon on the Mount, Matthew chapter 5. Do not think that I've come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have come not to abolish, but to fulfill. So you're going to see how it connects with the first reading. So Jesus doesn't say the Ten Commandments are done. What he's saying is I come to fulfill them. And he's going to show us that it's it's all about love, right? He says, Amen, Amen, I say to you, until heaven and earth pass away, not the smallest letter or the smallest part of the letter will pass from the law. Uh, but whoever obeys and teaches these commandments will be called greatest in the kingdom of heaven. So what is the law? The first three commandments are about loving God. The next seven are about loving our neighbor. And when Jesus was asked, what's the greatest commandment? What did he say? Love the Lord your God with your whole heart, mind, and soul, and love your neighbor as yourself. It's all about relationship. Um, and so he didn't abolish the law. He's not saying that the law is bad, but he says the law is all about love. Now look at uh, St. Paul, second letter to the Corinthians, chapter 3. He says, brothers and sisters, such confidence we have through Christ toward God. Um, he says, our qualification comes from God, who has indeed qualified us as ministers of a new covenant, which is in Jesus, not of letter, but of the Spirit. For the letter brings death, but the Spirit gives life. And so he, he's, it's obvious he's going to be talking about the Ten Commandments here because he goes on to say, Now the ministry of death carved in letters on stone, talking about the Ten Commandments. So I think what Paul's trying to say is, if we try to follow the commandments without any relationship with God, uh, it's, it's dead. There's, it's not about checking boxes. He goes on to say, if that was so glorious for the children of Israel, uh, how much more glorious will the ministry of the Spirit, Spirit be in Jesus through the Holy Spirit? Uh, he finishes by saying, for what, what was going to fade was glorious, how much more will what endures be glorious life in, in the spirit? So you put these readings together. I don't think Paul is saying that, obviously he's not saying he's abolishing the law because Jesus himself said, I didn't come to abolish, I came to fulfill. And so if we follow the commandments, let's use an analogy. For those of you who are married, some of the laws that you have to follow are, I need to be faithful to my spouse. I need to celebrate his or her birthday. I need to um, not have other spouses. <laughs> there's, there's laws and you could say, oh, those laws aren't fair. But when you love someone, then the laws make sense and you want to fulfill the law. The same is true with God. If we think, oh, God's just trying to take the fun out of life through these commandments, you're looking at it the wrong way. It's that God so loved the world and Jesus is saying, I didn't come to abolish the law, but if you have a relationship with me, you want to love God and you want to love your neighbor. One of the things I love most about being a priest is I get to love God's people. My full-time job is to try to love people with the love of God. If I try to do it myself, that's going to be exhausting, right? If you try to love another person just with your love, it's, it's limited. But if we allow ourselves to be filled with the love of God and then try to love others through him, this ministry of the spirit that St. Paul is saying, that's when, you know, life is glorious. And so don't try to do it yourself. Don't be self-reliant. Don't try to check the boxes and just fulfill the commandments without any relationship. Let's go to Jesus. Let's go to the Father. Let's ask for the Holy Spirit. And let's be people who receive love and give it away freely. That's when the ministry is glorious. Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you for your son, Jesus. We thank you for the Holy Spirit. Thank you for loving us. Help us to fulfill your commandments, not out of obligation, but out of love. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please continue to like, subscribe, and share these videos with at least one person today. Tune to your families. Buen Camino, and God bless you.